Good morning. Today is April the 2nd. Tuesday morning, time for another uh, short session of On This Day, a listing of the genealogical events being commemorated by the various imperial, royal, noble, and aristocratic families of the world. Uh, second item on the agenda, of course, is the daily search parameter. If you look below this video, you'll see a listing of the events being commemorated today. If you highlight that list, place your cursor over it, and do a right-click, you'll be given an option to have it read back to you. If you do that, you will learn how to correctly pronounce the various foreign titles and family names and so forth in those commemorative events. The second thing, of course, is the daily search parameter, which is really nothing more than the glorified hashtag. If you look down in the lower left-hand corner, you will see my name in very small letters. This being Zoom, we can change that. So I'm going to go up here and change it. Now, if you want to learn how to use Zoom, there's a whole course over on my website that will give you the various settings and so forth. There's 162 of them at last count in Zoom that will teach you how to do it. But I'm just going to change it. So if you're looking at that lower left, as I said, it's a precisely formatted hashtag. It is the icon number, you know, the tic-tac-toe sign for number, my three initials, A, G, H, and then a six-digit number composed of three sets of two digits each. The first numbers, two numbers are for the month of the year. The second two are for the day of the month, and the third two are for the year in which you're searching. You use this in conjunction with any other search term parameters you want, and it will pull up a list of what I have posted on that day on the subject that you were researching. If you look now in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see that it's changed. That's a little hard to read, so I'm going to mute my camera. When I do, your screen will go black. And it'll show where the hashtag or search, daily search parameters in big white letters like that. As I said, hashtag 8830302244 for April 2nd, 2024. And basically, that is today's five-minute rundown on what I'm doing. Um, as I said, if you combine that search term with anything else that you're searching for, it will give you, since Google indexes everything that's posted publicly on the web, if I post anything on that day on what you're searching for, It'll pull that up. If you enter just that search term by itself without in there and anything else, it will pull up everything that I post on any particular day, depending on how you format that specific number. I've used that religiously since the start of 2024. I used it haphazardly before then, but I decided I was getting so many questions. People wanted to know, had I done this, that, or the other about so and so. I decided to give them a way to find out what I was doing any time they wanted. I'm willing to answer any question about genealogy or technology, anything just posted on to the community form here or under one of the videos. I should let you know all postings are monitored. That means they are held by me until approved to be public publicly. Uh, and there's one exception to that rule, and that is if you are asking anything about Google or a Google product, 
If you're doing that, please go over to the Google Help Center to research your problem or post in the appropriate community forum over there. And if you want to do that, then come back over here and leave a link to your post over there. You know, Andy, I posted such and such. Can you take a look? I'd be happy to go over and look at it and give you an answer if you haven't got an answer. But I thought you will have an answer because there are more people over there posting day and night. Um, the product experts. Now, you don't get to talk to anybody because Google does not offer live support to its free consumer products. But you go into the community forums, you type your question, somebody comes in and says, oh, I know the answer to that, types it back to you. And as I said, I'll be happy to look at what they've said or give you an answer if you don't have one or at least try to give you an answer. So with that, I'm going to shut this thing down and get it rendered and distributed because I like to have it in your mailbox about 5 a.m. in the morning. So it's at the top of your mail list when you sign on in the morning. Thank you for your support in the past, and we hope to see you in the future. Have a pleasant day.